I think my rig got way more immersive now with all the flight simulator stuff because getting into the rig now feels like getting into an F1 car. Hey guys, Dan here. Welcome to this new video. Today it's all about Microsoft Flight Simulator. As you can see, I upgraded the rig a little bit. We now have a joystick and a throttle here in the rig. Uh, it's, it's super interesting to get into the rig now, but whatever it is how it is. Uh, what I did not get are rudder pedals, so in today's video I'm going to show you, if you're a sim racer, how to use your throttle and clutch pedal as a rudder pedal. Okay, back to our regular scene. Um, what you're going to need for the... Plane, please. We have a plane flying through. Okay, what you will need is VJoy and UCR. You probably noticed those two tools from the video I made about the standing starts, where you can emulate a clutch. If not, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check how to install it there. But it's it's very similar. So what you're gonna need to do is install VJoy and then create a virtual joystick. I'll show it here. So, um, I mean, we already have one, so we're just gonna use that. VJoy device one, configure it like it is here. So we don't need any of that stuff. Yeah, we just need one axis. Uh, leave it on X. Make sure that enable VJoy is uh, checked. And then you can go to your setup game controllers and check if it's there. So as you can see, VJoy device, okay, should look like this, one axis. And then what you need to do is um, start UCR. And we are going to create a new profile. So we're just gonna name this HE2 Rudder. And as an input device, you select your, um, your pedals, obviously. In my case, this is the using the and pedal sprint and as an output device you select the V joystick one that is this virtual joystick we just created okay create and what you need to do is the axis merger so we have two axes we have the throttle and the clutch and we want to merge this into the virtual axis so click plus mapping name zolder Okay, now we have axis high, axis low, click to bind. I now press my throttle, rotation X, and now I'll press, press my clutch, rotation Z. And output is V joystick 1. And as you can't move it, since it's virtual axis, click on the three dots here, click on axis, and click, 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 click on X. And what's important is mode should be set to average, and you need to invert one of the axes. So let's invert low, for example. Then we can just uh, save this and start the profile. And as you can see, this is my throttle from the housing belt. This is my clutch from the housing belt and the virtual axis is like in the center. And that's exactly how we want it to be. So if I press the throttle, the axis goes to the right. If I press my clutch, the axis goes to the left. If I press both, it, it remains in the middle because it's average. It's not exactly how rudder pedals work, but I think it's way better than using buttons on your joystick or anything. To me, it adds a lot of immersion. Um, give it a try. Okay, we can now go to the VJoy device properties and you can see clutch, throttle, and yeah, now you have a rudder pedal. That's already it for this video, guys. Um, if you found it helpful, I would appreciate a like of the video and maybe subscribe to the channel for more there will be um flight simulation stuff coming onto the channel as well as well as on twitch probably check out a few race tracks as well because as a sim racer of course you have to do that let's see uh, which tracks are modeled well maybe the one in the cities let's see maybe something like abu dhabi but um yeah guys um thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one bye bye what car contact oh, yeah. where what where Muchacho confuso. That was Spanish for very confusing. Well, that sucked.